Hello! Okay, so in this video, we are not gonna learn how to perfectly copy a picture. Honestly, why do people even copy a picture just to flex? I'll have you know, I have a printer at home and it does the exact same. So instead, I'll teach you how I draw stylized portraits. So let's get to drawing. So I always start with a circle, then I draw this curve in the middle. See, you don't really need the whole guideline cross thingy that people keep telling you to do. I mean, it's just a guideline, but all you gotta do is start with the eyes. The eyes are basically gonna be the anchor to the rest of the body parts. It's gonna be like your reference point. So the nose is about here and the mouth just below. Uh, yeah, this looks really ugly right now. But as I always say, trust the process. So what exactly am I doing here? Am I really making my drawing ugly on purpose? No. I am trying to get the structure right, the proportions. I'm just basically doodling where I want to put the parts of the face, hence its ugliness, which is honestly what you should do. Don't dive right into the details. For the hair, I'm just basically gonna group this into chunks and then draw that. As you can see, I am a very messy artist. Well, what even is this? This is what my sleep paralysis demon looks like. Okay, so I've had enough of this ugly drawing. We are now going to erase it. Now that we have the proportions, we're just gonna use a soft brush to lightly erase the ugly drawing. Holy crap, that is so creepy. So I'm just adding more details to the eyes, which is basically just making the upper eye thicker, like your mom. Then for the nose, honestly, the nose is just really simple. Just draw a circle and then add two nostrils. So once you got this less ugly drawing, we're just gonna add more details. I like to soften it with a soft eraser like this and then add the pupils. Then the lips will just have this weird shade. And yeah, I'll just do the hair real quick. So once you got this baby done, we're gonna use a soft eraser again and erase the lines. Yeah, like that. Now we're gonna color. But before that, shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is a place where you can watch tutorials and stuff without ads, okay? Listen, I tried it and all I gotta say is this is definitely for people with short attention spans like me. Some courses are like just an hour long, the whole course, and it's divided into bite-sized episodes, okay? It's basically perfect for beginners and for people with ADHD like me. This is Gabriel Piccolo's course, by the way. The courses have subtitles in different languages, so that's definitely cool. So I would legit be interested in watching self-development videos because honestly, I have a lot to develop about myself. So get this, the first 1,000 people who click the link in the description get a one-month free trial and it isn't just art, we got self-care, animation, business, marketing, literally anything you want to learn about. So click the link in the description. Okay, so going back, I am now 16 minutes into my portrait. We're just gonna fill this with a light shade and use an airbrush to redden the parts around the eyes, the nose, and the juicy lips, also the ears. Then I'm basically gonna do a little swoop for the shadow on the neck. So basically, if you like compare it to my reference, the colors are legit not the same. Honestly, you could go with your own color palette. Okay, so for all beginners watching this, literally just experiment with what types of color you want. If you want an in-depth tutorial, I have one right here. Or you could just I drop my color palette, I don't really care. Use whatever resource you got to learn and improve, like Skillshare. <laughs> okay, so it's looking a bit muddy right now, so I can raise the sketch like this. Okay, so in case you guys didn't know, these aren't eye bags, okay? It's like the under eye fat, which sounds weird, but it's a thing. It makes the eyes look a bit bigger. It doesn't make them look sick, okay? That's, that's my opinion. My toxic trait is drawing the eyebrows, even though the hair is gonna cover them. Okay, so, so far we've got this mid-looking drawing. Anyway, if you want to add shape to the nose, you don't have to add a lot of 
details, okay? What you could do is add this light thing to shape the nose, put it like around the nose. Also do that as well to the upper part of the juicy lips. Okay, so she looks like she needs some iron. So I'm just gonna make her skin a bit warmer, just so she doesn't look anemic. All right, so we're also going to add these things under her eyes. It's kind of like a triangle that's supposed to brighten her eyes, I guess. Okay, so just a quick comparison. This is what we have so far versus the reference. Obviously, I didn't get all the features right because this is a stylized portrait, okay? Meaning that I, the artist, am just vibing and not caring about making it too accurate because I know that I could never compare to my printer. However, there is an important thing to keep in mind. You have to capture the essence of the reference, okay? So this girl, she looks so innocent and soft and that's because she's got round features like a round face and big eyes. Now that is what I emphasize with my drawing. But if for example, like you want to go for the hot dilf vibes, you can make everything sharper. The jawline, the eyes, even the colors. So that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, all right, so for the hair, I'll just fill it with color. And there we go, those eyebrows I drew are now gone. Next, we're gonna lock the layer and then airbrush a darker color. Dang, look at that sun. Okay, so you definitely have to use a nice flat brush for shading the hair. You can download my brush in the description, by the way. But like, I'm basically just stroking downwards. Basically, I'm stroking in the direction that the hair is at. Like, for example, this chunk of hair is diagonal, so the strokes will also be diagonal, stuff like that. And then, yeah, I just shaded the rest of the hair. After that, I just added a light color. And... Okay, wait, sorry for the distraction, but I gotta add the juiciness. Yeah. Anyway, I used an even darker brush to add more shading and details. Alright, so while we're at it, I added eyelashes on the bottom of the eye. How I do it is basically just two lines that connect like that. And then we're gonna do the other side. Oh yeah. Okay, so it looks pretty decent, but I think I need to make the face rounder. Just simply use a liquify tool like this. All right, real quick for the hair highlights. Basically, just draw a huge chunk of lines, then click this tool to turn your brush into an eraser. We're basically just gonna shape the colors into a decent shape, and then yeah, kaboom. We're gonna do the same for the upper part. All right. I kind of scaled it a little bit because she looks too wide. Anyway, so if you want to add more details to the nose, let's just zoom in real quick and make this whole thing red using our airbrush. She's like Rudolph the Red Nose, y'all. Then add the mandatory juicy highlight, of course. Alright, Picasso. It may not look good, but from far away, when you squint really hard, it's gonna look good. Okay, so for the finishing touch, you want to duplicate the layer and then you want to blur it a little bit like this. Then lower the opacity of that layer. Do you see the difference? No? Well, basically it blurs out all the unblended lines. I don't really know if it makes a difference, but Eh. All right, real quick, here's the time lapse of our drawing. Okay, so the next day I worked on it some more and made some improvements, but tell me what y'all think. Guys, we started from this ugly looking entity and then we ended with this mid webtoon girl, which is passable. Anyway, you made it this far, so go like my video. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Watch this next, and I'll see you there. Stay cool.